We are talking about creating a five day study plan, and this is brought to you by the Hartford Community College Learning Center. So we are going to start off with a game. I have some zoomed in objects and guess if you can tell what these objects are. So this first one on the screen, do you know what this is? This is actually a zoomed in Oreo cookie. How about the second object? I bet this is a little easier. This is a paper clip. And this third object, this is actually a zoomed in bottle cap. So as you can see, it's much easier to have a clear perspective when we are not so zoomed in, but can see the bigger picture. And I like to use this analogy when talking to students about studying for their tests and quizzes as well. Instead of having a zoomed in perspective and trying to cram for everything the night before, it's much better if you allow yourself three or four or five days to study to really learn the information and review it so that you are internalizing it. So in order to do that, you need to know when your tests are due and when your assignments are due. So I recommend to students that they either print out a calendar or have a calendar app where they have all of their assignments and tests and quizzes written down so that they can reference it often and things don't sneak up on them. For example, if this student knows that they have a math quiz every Thursday, they can know that they should start studying for that math quiz, probably not on Wednesday, but also be studying it for on Monday and Tuesday and perhaps even on Friday. So it takes a little bit of planning, but coming into creating the habit of making study plans will really help you as a student. So whether you're creating a study plan for a final or a quiz, here are some strategies I can share with you. The first strategy is to create a topic list. Identify what topics would be on the test or quiz. What topics have you covered? What things were most important? And then the second thing is to assess your knowledge. What topics do you feel really good about, you understand, and what topics are you a little shaky on and you still have questions about? Once you identify what topics there are, how important each topic is, and your knowledge of the topics, then you can create a strategic study plan and decide how much time you want to spend on each one, and I think most importantly, how you will study and review each topic. So I have a PDF here for a five day study plan and you are welcome to download this from the description below and use it and adapt it to your needs. The idea is that you break your topics that you need to study into um, four categories, A, B, C, and D. And then for each of those categories, you decide how you want to prepare to um, review that material and what you are going to do to review it. So for the preparation, you could make flashcards, you can um, create some practice problems, create a study sheet, and then the reviewing is the doing, practicing those flashcards, completing the practice problems, writing a sample essay. So when you're creating your five day study plan, each day you can plan to prepare for something. So day one, prepare for part A and then review something. On day two, we are reviewing part A and preparing part B. If this all seems a little too technical, let's look at an example of how a student did it. This is a student's five day study plan and they decided to um, chunk some of their units together for their Western Civ class. On Tuesday, they wanted to work on unit one and two, and on Wednesday, they wanted to work on unit three and four, and so forth. But each day, they wanted to prepare something and review something. So a more detailed look at their study plan showed that on the first day, they were going to review notes from a PowerPoint and create flashcards. And then the next day, they were going to do those flashcards, review notes for a different 
chapter and so on and so forth. So there's a preparation aspect and a review aspect for each day. I hope this five day study plan video has been helpful for you and that you can adapt this as you are studying. If you have any questions or you would like to work with a learning assistant, please email learningcenter at harford.edu. Thank you.